Body dissatisfaction has become a widespread phenomenon among young women. It has been shown to lead to an increase in harmful food and weight related behaviors, increased mental health issues, and ultimately an increase in eating disorder development. It's not surprising then that an increase in body dissatisfaction has led to an increase in the prevalence of eating disorders. We don't know a lot about how young women understand eating disorder prevention messages. However, there is research that suggests that some approaches are more impactful than others. The majority of individuals with an eating disorder rarely enter the health system for support. There are many reasons why this might be the case. Many individuals with eating disorders may not even realize that their behaviors are problematic. Those who do may be unwilling or unable to seek treatment. And when an individual is ready to seek help for those behaviors, treatment providers are, are often few and far in between, sometimes geographically or financially inaccessible. With these damaging personal and community impacts, and multiple treatment barriers, we need effective prevention for eating disorders. Research suggests that all young women, even those who don't show signs of disordered eating, stand to benefit from eating disorder prevention materials. By creating an effective eating disorder prevention program that can be delivered to individuals in their communities, in their schools, and even at home online, we can deliver life-saving prevention messages messages that might otherwise never have reached them. Research indicates that some of the most powerful ways to help prevent eating disorders is to teach women to stop comparing themselves negatively to other women and to stop them from talking disparagingly about their own bodies or other people's bodies. And these methods seem to teach women to have a healthier body image and help to reduce eating disorder risk factors. We can do this by showing them how media images are manipulated, they aren't real, and also by telling them how the so-called ideal body has changed over the course of history and across different cultures. And by doing so, we can help women understand that thinness does not equal attractiveness. There are two significant gaps in the eating disorder prevention literature. Firstly, there is no consensus yet over what the ideal age is to target young women with eating disorder prevention messages. And secondly, the unique experiences and perspectives of women with eating disorders is missing from the literature. And this current research project is going to attempt to address these gaps in the literature. We want to be able to develop and deliver effective eating disorder prevention messages to help stop the spread of this condition. And to do so, we need to understand how young women interpret the kinds of prevention messages that they most commonly see. In this study, we're going to examine the reactions of 100 young women between the ages of 18 and 25. The women will be shown videotaped messages containing common prevention messages that are shown in established prevention programs. Firstly, we want to know how persuasive they find these prevention messages. In other words, how relevant, believable, or convincing are the messages. Secondly, we want to understand participants' behavioral intentions. In other words, immediately after watching these messages, how much do they want to diet or how much do they want to compare their bodies to other women's? Finally, in order to address another gap in the literature, we want to understand the reactions of women both with and without eating disorders. This way we'll be able to target prevention programs for the most vulnerable populations and we'll have a unique perspective on eating disorders from women who actually struggle with this condition. Knowing how women respond to eating disorder prevention messages will help us to better develop and deliver effective prevention programs and this will help to stop the spread of this condition. The National Eating Disorder Information Center is collaborating with Dr. Jennifer Mills and New York University in order to bring prevention theory into practice. Understanding how prevention messages work will help us to understand how to implement effective prevention in our work with young women across Canada. And in reaching more young women with eating disorder prevention messages, we'll be able to help prevent the spread of eating disorders.